Here's what it's like at this night market that will make your trip unforgettable in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Hey, it's Jess, the fun size foodie, and I've been to 12 countries and over 30 plus major cities. So I finished a trip to Vietnam and Thailand a while ago and while we were there, we went to this night market filled with so much food and drinks. We stayed in Ho Chi Minh for about a week and we went back two to three times. It made the trip very memorable and we had so much fun. I highly recommend going to this place. I'm also going to be sharing some tips that you'll need when you go to this night market. Anyways, let's get into it. All the way in Saigon, we have the Hotiki Night Market. During the day, it's a flower market, but during the night, it turns into a night market filled with so much street food. And it's bustling every single night. Fair warning that it's super crowded, especially on the weekends. I'm at Hotiki Night Market and we're going to eat some street food. First thing I wanted of the night was this purple sticky rice that's been cooked in bamboo. They'll have these pre-cooked and tightly sealed in the bamboo. When you order, they'll open them up and grill them right in front of you. We also ordered a grilled pork skewer with garlic for 20k, which is the equivalent of 80 cents in USD. Definitely get the pork skewer because they were really flavorful. And the purple sticky rice was also 20k. I had to hold on to this until we found a place to sit. Next up we have are these fertilized duck eggs with their special sauce and in the corner she's cooking us an egg mixed with various ingredients. That shrimp, squid, and either minced beef or minced pork. The mixed egg was 20k while the fertilized duck egg or balut was about 15k which was about 60 cents USD. So we finally sat down and I got to dig into this sticky rice. Pour over some crushed peanuts and man this was piping hot. The auntie served us some beers and our dishes. You can kind of see that they were still bubbling. That's how hot it was. And then we poured over their sauce that they provided and it's a sweet and spicy mixture. The mixed egg also had sausage, cheese, and some green onions. This was a really good savory dish. And as you keep walking deeper into the night market, you're going to see so much more all around you. We stopped by at a skewer place here and ordered a ton of skewers. We got lot, which is a grilled beef in lot leaves, grilled squid, and beef meatballs on the lemongrass. And we ordered these quail eggs mixed with different things like seafood, meat, and herbs. Each skewer here ranged from 3 to 10k Vietnamese dollars, which is about 12 to 40 cents USD each. That's crazy affordable. What you don't see here is in the back of their stall is a seating area in their living room. So it's typical in Vietnam to have their business integrated with their home. So you'll have their house up at the top and then their business on the ground floor. Then we stopped by at this stall and ordered a gana dap mui uk, which are these Vietnamese white olives crushed with salt and chili. It's a great fruity snack and a dollar USD per order. Then we stopped by a vendor who was selling pha lao ba. It's a dish that originated from this city and it's typically made with beef or pork. 
This one's made with beef and it's organs that it's been braised in a special stock made with five spice powder and herbs. After cutting up the meat in bite-sized pieces for us, he's putting it in a to-go container for us and adding more herbs and fish sauce. And then he's pouring over some of that liquid gold into our container. It smelled of nothing but herbs and spices. It's very chewy. Then we got the Mupin skewers, which are Thai style grilled pork skewers, and we got one with a slice of cheese. That costed about 15k. That's cheese and burger meat. Nearby, we got a love cake because it's shaped like a you know what. Oh god, okay. Very dry. And you have to get yourself a sugar cane drink at least once during your trip to Vietnam. It's made to order and super refreshing on hot summer nights. I ordered one every single day during my time here as soon as I see it. Then we ordered a spicy popcorn chicken. It's nothing like the Taiwanese popcorn chicken though. It's a lot tinier and there was more batter than chunks of meat. I wouldn't really recommend it, but we got it because we were curious. At the time, I said it was karage because someone told me it was, but after eating it, it was nothing like it at all. Chicken? Is this karage? Yeah, that's dry. It's like too crispy. A classic Vietnamese street food you can get while you're in Vietnam is bánh bột chiên, which is a fried rice cake. This aunt fries it up on the grill for you to get it all nice and crispy. And then she'll add eggs and scallions. I ordered mine with a little bit of chili in it. And then they'll provide you with a little pouch of soy sauce to add as much as you want. Okay. 
little bit soy sauce. End your night with the best dessert possible. Game ba. It's an avocado smoothie with coconut ice cream and sprinkled with dried coconuts. Okay, game ba. <laughs> So here are some tips to make your experience much more enjoyable at this night market. Bring local cash with you. So some of these street vendors will take credit card or use certain apps, but a lot of them, of these like vid aunties and uncles, are old school. So it's best to always bring cash. And try to bring smaller bills in case they don't have change for these larger ones. Next tip is to bring your own napkins or wet wipes. This was a culture shock for me because napkins aren't really a thing when you dine in at places in Vietnam. So sometimes you have to either pay for them or bring your own. It really depends on the place, but most of the time we just brought our own. In the beginning of our trip, we kept forgetting, so we had to keep paying for them. But later on, you know, as we learned, we brought our own. So we got these set of napkins at a Winmart, which is the equivalent of a Walmart in Vietnam, at least to me. You can check out my shopping video in Vietnam to see what Winmark is like. These napkins smell really light and floral. Another tip is to avoid the water or ice so that you don't get traveler's diarrhea. Stick to bottled water or canned drinks. But if you're willing to take the risk and want to drink sugar cane or like iced coffee, then do so because I don't want you to miss out on an experience. Try to drink it as fast as you can before that ice melts too much. I jokingly say that getting traveler's diarrhea is a rite of passage when you come to Asia, but you'll recover. You don't see it in this video, but towards the end of the night, my stomach started feeling funny, and as soon as we got home, I threw up. I had no appetite the next few days, and I was gone. But after two to three days, I was fine. In another video, I'll share all my tips based on my experience for the entire trip. If there are any tips that I missed or you like to share, then please write them down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, you also might like this video.